today we are going to talk about investing, risk, return, and liquidity by Peyton, Matt, and Sarah. Number one, put and take account. An example of a put and take account is a checking account. On a put and take account, there is almost no risk, no return, and very high liquidity. <laughs> Number two, beginning to invest. After you establish a stable put and take account, you can begin to invest. At first, most people invest in low risk and return investments, such as bonds or mutual funds. Liquidity is also kind of low. After you've had some experience with investing, you can move into systematic investing. In systematic investing, you invest a certain amount of money consistently into stocks, mutual funds, or an and unities. These investments are long-term investments. The risk, return, and liquidity depend on what you invest in. Strategic investing is managing your portfolio. Buying and selling stock, this investing stage lasts about five to 10 years, and to be successful, you must diversify your portfolio. Again, the risk, return, and liquidity depend on what you invest in. It's safe to say it has medium risk, return, and liquidity. Speculative investing is the final stage of investing. It is investing in things such as penny stocks and collectibles. This stage has the highest risk, but also the highest return. Liquidity is somewhere in the middle. Uh, low risk investments are in things such as bonds and certificates of deposits. Just like any investment, there's a correlation between risk and return. This has low risk, so there's low return. Medium risk investments can be a wide variety of things. An example would be buying stock in stable and large companies such as Coke and oil companies. These have medium risk, therefore medium return. High risk investments include penny stocks and taking out stocks and things such as airlines and automobile manufacturers. Because of the risk you are taking, the payout can be large.